All right, hey dudes. So today I just wanted to show you guys how I got PS2 uh, Guitar Hero controllers working on my PC. Cause it's a bit of a process, but once it's done, it's pretty fun. So yeah, you'll need your PS2 guitar. Another thing you'll need is one of these PS2 to PC adapters. I recommend this one. It's probably the best one just because um, just because it allows you to connect two controllers at the same time to your PC with one USB, which takes up less space and it's just more efficient. Um, I definitely recommend these ones. The lights are a bit bright on them, but you just, you know, you just unplug it when you're not using it. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's kind of a cool design. It's got this clear color, very PS2, uh, really reminds me of the PS2, I should say. Yeah, so I believe the first one is the one on the right here. I think this is the first one. Okay, so anyways. So yeah, just to make sure to plug in your PS2 guitar. Mine is a wireless one, so I'm just gonna plug it in here and then plug it into the PC. Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna download X360CE on here. So this is kind of like like a fresh Windows install. So, okay, so now that we're here, uh, let's search for X360CE. Okay, so it should be the link at the top here, x360ce.com. Okay, so this is it. So now what we'll wanna do is select download for all games. I don't know why it's giving me an ad. It's kinda weird. Anyways, so now you have the zip here. So yeah, it's in your downloads here. So now what we wanna do is we'll just wanna extract it, extract all. Now you'll probably want to move this folder somewhere you you like you would want to save it whether that's on an, another hard drive or on your C drive somewhere maybe it's in your documents. Yeah, documents isn't a bad spot to store it too. So now once you have that uh downloaded and extracted, so and you moved it somewhere you wanted, now just you just want to open it and run it. Anyway, so let's go through the install. So it's asking me to install Visual Studio C++. So let's download this. Okay. Although for me, when I first installed it, I actually didn't need to do this, but let's go over this just in case. So it's looking like 2015 to 2019 is the one we'll need. So what we want is, I believe we want both the x86 and x64 versions. So let's download this. Okay, let's just install this. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, close that. Now let's download the 64-bit version as well. Okay, agree and install. Okay, good, so now that's all good. So now let's see what else is it showing. We might need to reopen it actually now that we installed those two. So let's close out of this for now if it'll even let me do that. Looks like it's kind of freezing on me right now. Oh, maybe we'll just end it in the task manager. Okay. Okay, so let's reopen it now. Okay, so now we got it back again. Now, I think what we need to install is we need to go to options here and we need to install virtual device. Yeah, so um, this part is gonna be what emulates the Xbox 360 controller. So let's click install on that. Okay, good, very quick to install. That one's done. And now we wanna download, or we wanna install HID Guardian also here just by clicking here. And then we we'll wanna click install for that. Okay. So the first thing you want to do after you've installed those uh, those two parts in the options, virtual device and HID Guardian, next thing you want to do is add a game. So we're going to click the plus one up here to add a game. So now it's going to bring up a window that, and you have to browse to where you saved your clone hero game. So for me, I put it on an SSD that I have and uh, here. So we're just going to select the executable once you get to the right folder and then select open. 
So now what we want to do, so now you can see Clone Hero down here. Now that you added the game, so what you want to do is you want to go to games and click on Clone Hero here. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to add the controller. So we're going to click add. So now it's going to bring up this window. And what you want to do is select your PS2 controller, which for me is the twin USB joystick. I think if you have the blue one, this is what it's going to be called. And we want to click add selected device. So this is going to be the first one. So we're adding this to controller one. All right, so now that we added it, so for some reason I noticed sometimes it pops back to X360C at the top, so just make sure to select Clone Hero. So now you can see the device here, right? And uh, so, okay, so now, now we're gonna start mapping the controller button since we added the uh, controller to it. So let's just, so for me, for some reason, I think because I added them earlier, it's already showing, but I'm just gonna go over it again with you guys. So first we wanna click up, up on the D-pad, gonna map that to the strum up, down on the D-pad, map that to strum down, and then A is gonna be the green button, B is gonna be the red button, click Y, gonna be the yellow button, X is gonna be the blue button, and the we'll make the left bumper orange, okay. And now make sure to also select uh, start here, and click the start button on the controller and then select and the select button. Now that's basically all you need. Um, you can also map in the, uh, when you like tilt the guitar to like one of the X, either the X or Y axis on one of the sticks. Um, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. Uh, anyways, so yeah, we're also gonna check to enable ma one mapped device. So that'll light it up green. So that means it's working. And if you wanna add, this is also when you can add in a second controller, so it's pretty easy to do. So you're just gonna click add, and then you're gonna select your second controller here and click add selected device. Okay, so now we're back in again. And uh, so now back in Clone Hero, so you can also check to enable this device as well. And what you can do to make it really quick is you just copy this preset down here from the first one and what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste the preset into the second one here. And then once you're done all that, just click the save all button at the top right here. One thing to do is to go to devices and uh, just make sure like these two controllers that the checkbox for hide is checked for them. Um, if it's already checked and let's say like you didn't give you an administrator prompt, then just uncheck it and check it again. It'll ask you to select yes and just say yes. That'll make sure that these controllers aren't showing up when you're trying to use the emulated controllers. And another thing that's handy is when you go to games, just uncheck X360CE up here. Okay, and now for me, I like to uncheck the minimize to tray option. And uh, yeah, I don't like it starting with Windows either. I just like to launch it and just have it running when Clone Hero is running. Um, and then I'll just close it when I'm done playing it. Okay, so that's about all. I think we're good here. So now let's hop into Clone Hero and try out the controller. Now what we want to do is we want to map the controls in Clone Hero to the emulated controller we just set up. So press the space bar, make sure it shows X input gamepad one here. Um, and then, so you're gonna start from the top. It'll look like this, it'll be empty. I've already mapped these other ones earlier, so that's why it's showing that. Um, so we'll click on green and then now press the button, bam, there. Now A shows up since we mapped the green button to A and you'll just do the rest for green, red, yellow, blue, orange and uh, strum up and strum down and uh, and tilt if you set that up as well. And then also start and select will be here as well. Just make sure, yeah, make sure you click on it and map it. If you're having issues with the controller buttons not like showing up in the game when you press them, like when you're trying to map it, just make sure, just go to Clone Hero up here and then, and you'll see the controllers are green and enabled. Just make sure the checkbox is on, make sure it's, it's green here. And then just test by pressing the buttons on the controller and make sure they light up for controller one. Um, otherwise, maybe if you have like the two adapter like mine, maybe you have to move it to the other side and then uh, and then it'll show up for controller one. Um, exactly, and as long as they're lighting up, then that should mean the controller is working fine. Then you can go back into Clone Hero and continue mapping them. 
And then once you've gone through and you've mapped the controls you've set up, then just click done. And now you can test it out. So press the start button and pick your profile or, or create one if you haven't yet. And then now let's, um, let's play a quick song. So yeah, you can just press the buttons and just make sure they're lighting up too when you're playing the game. That'll be a good indication that that you set it up right. Alright, I hope you guys found that video to be helpful. Um, I think that's one thing that's really cool about using X360CE is that if you have four Guitar Hero controllers, then you could technically play with four people on the game, which is a lot of fun. I've had buddies over and we played. I actually was looking on on like Facebook Marketplace and some guy was selling four of these guitar controllers and I just picked them all up for pretty cheap. That's how I started getting into Clone Hero. And uh, the main hurdle for me was figuring out how to get these controllers working on my PC in the first place. Um, but I hope this video shows you guys how to do that. I tried to cover everything I could. If there's anything, any points you think that I missed, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have fun jamming out in Clone Hero. And if you enjoyed the video, free Feel free to give it a like and subscribe, um, and I'll catch you guys in a future video I make. All right? Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.